Hello friends, welcome back to automation testing .com. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, an introduction to auto IT tool and uh, how to handle Windows authentication using auto IT tool. So in the last video, we talked about alert interface and uh, we have seen different JavaScript alerts and uh, we have handled them. So today we'll discuss, uh, I'll show you a demo like how to handle Windows authentication using auto IT tool. So what is Windows authentication first? So I got, I found one URL. So this application, and let me just launch this URL. So if you fire this URL, you will get one pop-up saying that your connection is to this site is not private. So here we have to, this is Windows pop-up actually. And here we have to provide username and password. Okay, so this scenario will handle through auto IT first. Okay, so there are two ways. Uh, another way I'll tell you after uh, once we are done with uh, auto IT, then I'll uh, talk about the other method. So let's handle this first. Okay. So let me just uh, give an introduction of auto IT tool first and then we'll uh, see a demo. So what is auto IT tool? So auto IT is a freeware open source tool which is used for automating anything in windows environment and auto it script is written in basic language and it can simulate uh, any combination of keystrokes mouse movement and window control manipulation so basically auto it is for windows based application and so the question is what are the different usage in selenium web driver okay so basically we have couple of uh, important usage in selenium web driver to handle the windows based alert and uh, to upload files <coughs> i'm sorry so regarding the second point like upload files i'll show in the next video we'll discuss about uh, different ways to handle files different ways to upload the files so how to download auto it and auto it editor okay so auto it editor is to write the script so this is the URL official website of auto IT. So let me just copy this. So from here you can easily download uh, auto IT. Auto IT if you go to this tab and here we have downloads. And here we have auto IT editor. Okay, so this is way you can download. So here already I have downloaded and installed. So installation is very easy. You can simply click on next, next, and then you can install it. And uh, let me just show you. So it is already installed here, auto IT. And this is an inspector here to inspect the elements uh, on pop-up or uh, any windows based application using this finder tool okay like we have firebug and firefat in selenium or uh, crow path or uh, or any other tool in the same way we can inspect the elements uh, in auto it as well okay so today i'm not going to use this i'll show you a demo later on in the next video about this tool so if you go to this one this folder you have to site te have to click on that folder and here we have editor <coughs> i'm sorry so here this is the editor to write the script so here already i have written a four lines of code four lines of four lines of script to send the username and password okay so you can write like this different commands will come automatically like send so let me just copy paste so what we are doing is we are sending this uh, send keyword uh, admin this is the username tab tab out and then let me show you first we'll enter the username and then tab out and enter the password and then click on enter okay 
uh, this username and this is password admin is the username and admin is the password now we have to save this so save as let's say authenticate and uh, the type is au3 so desktop it is already saved now this file is saved now we have to convert uh, this script file to exe file so here we have if you right click and here we have compile script 64 and compile script 86 so this computer is uh, 64 bit so we have to use 64 if you have 32 bit then you have to use 86 so let me just click here and then this exe file will be created okay now let me just write uh, or let me write uh, rename script window authentication select public static void main few lines of code to launch the browser and here we'll change the URL take this URL and after this we have runtime class in Java runtime dot runtime dot get runtime okay and we have execute method exec and here we have to provide the complete file path of this exe file so just press shift and right click you will get copy as path simply put it over here just make sure that uh, it should be dot exe complete path of that exe file it throws we have to add throws declaration now this is done let's put some weight here that is not required but just for uh, that it should not uh, throw any exception okay Okay, synchronization issue so let me just run this everything is ready now it entered username and password and we are able to access the uh, this web page okay so let me just put some weight so that you can easily see before after entering username and password let's wait for a couple of seconds and at last as java application admin and password entered you can see we have logged in successfully so this is how you can handle windows uh, based alert or you can say you can say authentication this is how you can provide using auto id tool and what is the other way so let me just copy paste this one one the other way is very easy just comment this or let's delete
so here you have to provide username and password so this is the format guys uh, username and colon password and we have at the rate so let me just write here the complete uh, format So this is the format driver dot gate get URL. This is the URL. So HTTP colon double slash. Then you have to provide username colon password at the rate test dot com. This is your website. Okay. So this is the comp this is the format. You have to provide username and password in the URL itself. Okay. So what is the username here? we have username admin and password is also the same admin now let's see whether uh, we are able to access the application or not here you can see directly it logged in into the application so this is how you can handle windows authentication in two ways one is using auto it tool and another way using uh, using the url when you provide username and password in the url itself okay so let me just recap what we have done so far so we have seen an introduction of auto it tool like how to install and download and uh, how to download and install and uh, later on we have seen two scripts one is using auto it like how to handle aut or authentication and second one using uh, through url only so in the next video i'll talk about how to upload and download a file using selenium web driver so this is all for today guys so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye